Hey guys, 7.30 just came out and I've got some tips, tricks and interesting interactions for you. If you got some of your own, please submit them at the link below, let's get on with it. The active shadow brand of Fey Grenade works surprisingly well with some heroes, maybe even too well. It throws a projectile towards your target which deals your attack damage and a debuff that deals 20 damage every second for 7 seconds. Used with Earthshaker and Enchant Totem, you'll see quite a big hit, around 1000 damage. But if you think that's crazy, what about Batrider and Sticky Napalm? It will amplify every tick, so if you got level 4 Sticky Napalm, get 5 stacks on an enemy unit, hit them with Fey Grenade, you will do 160 damage per tick, totaling 1120 damage. I've heard a few people crying over Klinks' new ability, Burning Barrage, but this spell allows you to apply attack modifiers. Get yourself Mjolnir, MKB, Abyssal Blade, Diffusal, Desolator, and throw in a Daedalus, and you might see a Rampage. And Dying's new shard, every time he attacks an enemy during his ultimate, he will spawn a zombie. Time to go fast, get all the attack speed, and you will create so many zombies they can't move, literally. This new Silver Edge is now built with Chrysalis, and coming out of the invisibility now guarantees a 160% crit and 175 bonus damage. Kunk and Earthshaker Carry is back baby. OD can solo Roshan with Shadow Amulet at level 6, but it will take you a while. Hit Roshan from max range while popping Shadow Amulet, if timed correctly, you'll get in 2 hits without getting hit yourself. OD's new shard allows teammates and himself to move during Astral Imprisonment. The perfect spell to save teammates from Chronosphere, Arena or even Black Hole. Did you hear Pudge's hook now works similarly to Marana's arrow when hitting neutral creeps? It will instantly kill them, which means Pudge is now improved as a position 4. A lot of people complain that Flicker wasn't removed from this patch, but it's nerfed so I don't see it as a problem anymore. If you use Flicker within 3 seconds of being attacked, it will flicker you to your current location, meaning you're going nowhere. Dawnbreaker Shard will make her magic immune during Starbreaker. Take this opportunity to dodge incoming stunts. All you gotta do is time it correctly, which shouldn't be too hard. Pigpole turns you into a pig. Use this during Pangolier's Rolling Thunder, and you'll turn into a pig on a rampage. Wind Ranger Shard gives her the ability Gale Force, a spell which can be used globally and will push all enemies 250 units per second in the targeted direction for 3 seconds. Combine this with something like Arena, and you've got yourself a massacre. Use Power Cogs twice, like this, followed by Tusk's Eye Shards right here, and you've made art. Stay safe, kids! Remember Pigpole from earlier? If Lion has the Fin King's Charm cosmetic, which changes his hex to a fish, he will become a fish himself if he uses Pigpole. A little bit of the talent, Blood Rage spell amplification, a Veil, Ethereal Blade, Kaya and Sanjh, and you can one-shot a 10,000 HP Bristleback with Huskar's Life Break. Have fun! The new item Brigand's Blade, which deals 7 extra damage per 10% health missing, is great for Wind Ranger's ultimate, Focus Fire. Just look at the damage difference between having the item equipped versus not. Thank you so much for watching the video guys. If you liked it, please like, comment and subscribe. And if you got some tips of your own, submit them at the link in the description.